This week, Humble introduced the Humble Monthly Bundle. It costs $12 a month, and each month you get surprise games. According to Humble, the games in the Humble Monthly Bundle are highly curated and include everything from recent hits to hidden gems to timeless classics, and none of the games in the Humble Monthly Bundles have ever been in other bundles. If you subscribe this October, you get Legend of Grimrock 2 instantly, and there's no telling what you'll get next month when the first bundle actually unlocks. Initially, my issue with the Humble Monthly Bundle was that it seemed that you were paying $12 a month for a single random game that you might not like that hasn't even been in a Humble Bundle before. After asking Humble myself, however, it turns out that the Humble Monthly Bundle features not one, but five games each month, which significantly sweetens the deal. I have no idea how many people have subscribed thus far, but I do know that at the time of this video's production, the internet does not seem pleased with this idea, and I have to say that I don't much like the concept in its current form. There are a few reasons why I'm against it. My initial first strike against the Humble Monthly Bundle was that its first game, Legend of Grimrock 2, was being offered at $12, which isn't the lowest price the game has ever been. According to SteamPrices.com, the game went for $5 and some change during a sale. Actually, however, Legend of Grimrock 2 is meant to be a sort of subscription bonus meant to entice you to subscribe to the service. If you subscribe now for $12, you'll get that game, plus the 5 that Humble is planning on unveiling later on. This is a better deal than I initially thought it was, but I feel that they weren't clear enough about this on their site. It seemed more like an offer of a month than anything else. The other issue that I had was regarding the price. $12 a month for a single game seemed rather unfair. I'm not saying that $12 is too much for a good game. Frankly, I'd happily pay much more than that for a great game every month if it's something that I'm guaranteed to love, like City Skylines. But five games a month for $12, if they're well curated, sounds pretty fair. For perspective, the cost of a PlayStation Plus subscription is $9 per month, and each month comes with six new games. So while the cost sounds fair, assuming that the games in the bundles are really, really good, and you don't already own them, a serious problem with the Humble Monthly Bundle in its current form is the lack of transparency. You might not mind being surprised with games every month, but there's no telling if your platform of choice is going to be supported. Steam for Windows support is promised, meaning games that run on Windows PCs through Steam are going to be guaranteed to be in the bundle. Beyond that, however, there's nothing about the games being DRM-free. You can't pay what you want. There's no guarantee that they'll be cross-platform, and each bundle gives five cents to PayPal Giving Fund, a rather obscure charity. I think the real issue with this bundle is that it's everything that Humble was not. When the Humble Indie Bundle was born, it was DRM-free, cross-platform, pay what you want, helps charity. Over the years, however, these foundations have been steadily eroded away. The Humble Indie Bundles have been split into tiers, which was initially done to curb abuse and was a great idea, but then less and less content was put into the pay what you want tiers. More content was locked not just behind tiers meant for you to beat the average, but on tiers that are locked at a certain amount of money. It's no longer about give what you want, but give this very specific amount that's also raising the cost of the average. So besides this not really being in the spirit of Humble, my last issue with the service is that besides a random monthly $12 collection of games, it doesn't really bring anything new to the table. If it not only included the games, but material about the games, maybe tie-in comics or behind-the-scenes footage and information about the game's creations, I would happily pay for this. Remember the regrettably failed Kickstarter documentary series by Russell Pitts called Stage of Development? It was about the struggles and victories of game developers. If this bundle came like something with that alongside the mystery games, in fact, if it was $12 a month for a mystery game and some information about how the game was created, I would very, very happily put my money behind it. Right now, however, all the Humble Monthly Bundle really offers is a shot at five random games that you might or might not like. That's the bottom line. While I have no hard numbers, the feedback online speaks for itself. Looking at the likes and dislikes for the trailer for the Humble Monthly Bundle on YouTube, things are looking very disfavorable. About 75% of people have given that video the thumbs down. 
all over the internet wherever there's a discussion of the humble monthly bundle people are vowing not to buy into it so this brings me to you would you subscribe to the humble monthly bundle why or why not and if not what changes would you make to the bundle you can let us know via email just shoot one to info at blackmanandrobin.com with the subject line humble fumble and let us know what you think about the humble monthly bundle you can also send us tweets at blackmanandrobin or leave us comments on our instagram which is also at blackmanandrobin whatever suits you the best comments will be featured on next week's episode of game news update and three of our favorites will win a steam copy of planetary annihilation